is, um, <laughs> I'm tied up. Okay, that coup is a new song for us. It is um, okay for everyone to do. What is that called? Public domain. Uh, and we're very lucky because we have a couple of new members. Hi, Kat and Anna. And actually, Kat played Taiko when she was a child living in Japan, growing up there in Okinawa. And Anna played Taiko, learned Taiko in America. She moved into Lincoln. And these two took Taiko classes with me and with Deb in Omaha. And so from our Taiko classes, we're always looking for new members. And they just both really had it. And the bonus is Anna can play Fue. Does everyone know Fue? Bamboo flute. Woohoo! And I have to say, actually, also Naoko, she was in our group. I don't know if you remember us, like two decades ago, playing down at the new gate. I don't even think there was a gate then. Um, and she, you know, was, got busy for a while, and she's come back recently. So she's been brave and strong, and I just love these women. So give a hand to our group. We are Tokyo Tokyo.
So do we have a quick question for us? Anyone? Oh, yes, go ahead. Means fun? Easy. Easy. Raku means easy. I don't know. As we get better and better, it'll be easy, I guess. But it's so cool because having such a beautiful sounding fluid player is uh, such a treat for us. We had one. She moved away to Canada. Oh. <laughs> she comes back once in a while. So. And Naoko played a long time ago, so that was fun. Yeah, all right. Kiryu means flying dragon. We hope you can imagine the dragon, which is serpentine, right? Asian dragons look like that. And this song is just fun. There's spinning, you'll see. There's a... Um... Oh, wait. Am I doing this one? Do you... Well, we can go for a crap Oh, no, we need Shina. Do you want me to play? Okay. <laughs> That's good. You'll see spinning here. You'll see a lot of shouting, just like we did in our group. Um, it's in, and you also see ma. So ma is space in the song. That's really important in Japanese music. So anyway, just enjoy.
You'll notice these have more mimi, so mimi means ears, and these mimi uh, is where they put in the rods to tighten the heads onto the drums. So you can hear. Yeah, they just sound different. So. I like to play on one that sounds like I like it to sound. <laughs> All right, Yoroshiku.
starting to play the cardboard of his Maureen and <laughs> out of kids and stuff yeah. like that. Now we're so in. dedicated she used to bring her pack and play, the baby monitor, her baby, put them in a different room so her maid's hearing wouldn't be heard. Practice and pack all that up, go back. She's dedicated. But you know, when you have a second one, maybe it's a little harder. <laughs> It's okay, Anna, how long have you been playing Taiko? Um, I started in 2016 in Minnesota, and then um, was in Pennsylvania for a couple of years, kind of, sort of, maybe playing a little bit. Um, and I've been back here for a little over a year. Yeah. So that's a great question, thank you. I needed that break. Woohoo! Okay, so our next piece is called Miyake, and it's a sideways lunging song. And Anna will be playing Jinchi. So whenever we have someone playing on here, usually it's called Jinchi. Can everyone say Jinchi? <coughs> so Jinchi is the bass beat. It keeps the rhythm. It keeps everyone together, hopefully. So even though it may look pretty, um, you know, it doesn't expend a lot of energy or movement like the other pieces. This part is so important because we need someone who can stay steady throughout the whole song and also who is familiar with the piece. So we're, we're going to be playing another song with a lot of movement, which may remind you of some martial arts. It is from the island of Izu, so it's uh, supposed to bring conjure up images of pulling and nets of fish. I love this song, so thank you for coming, and thank you everyone for your support, and thanks for all the volunteers who had fun doing the workshop. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, come and talk to me later. So thank you. drill the nail, you know, let the blood out, and the blood squirts out like a whale, and it feels so good. Well, all I did was lose my bocce, so okay. Mistakes happen. So, I have to tell you, it usually happens when you're not concentrating and thinking. So, can you guess what maybe I was thinking about? Ice cream? <laughs> I love ice cream, but no, I was thinking, I need a move so I'm not hitting the curtains. And so that happens, right? Concentrate. Concentrate. I'm telling that to myself. Okay, my kai, sorry. Oh, angle? That's good, thank you. Okay. Do you need an angle? Are you hitting the curtains? I don't have that problem. <laughs> so sweet. Okay. That doesn't usually happen, but is in the beginning. So, all right. Hi.
Okay. Uh, the next one takes a lot of energy, too. <sighs> I hope you're thinking about questions in between. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> um, so in Japan, there's many local groups, um, festivals, they'll be playing, but usually it's kind of for the dance that you saw the girls up here in Yukata doing. Um, you, you can look the city, whatever city you're in online, they'll have information about what's going on or ask locals. Also, there's you know famous professional groups like Tao, Yamato, Kodo, Ondekuza. And actually Yamato has been here in Omaha. I'm not sure if Tao has it. Well they just came here, right? Or not. I get mixed up, who came where? But they're fabulous, you know, they have a I don't know, shimmery, beautiful, shiny outfits and they do taiko for a living. They're playing taiko every day, all day. And yeah, if we could do that, any benefactors out there, or I could just play taiko all day, we'd be in better shape, and I could talk to you better. <laughs> but right now, this is just a hobby for all of us. So that's an excellent question. You can come on. Um, there's another question. Yes? Is it common for women to play the drums? Um, it's more common now, but uh, back when ensemble taiko drumming started um, after World War II, it was mostly men because taiko had been used in fields dominated by men, such as warfare, shrines, temples. Uh, but more and more women are playing. Um, I remember in my group in Japan, uh, I wanted to play this part. I didn't want to play the shime part, which most of the women got to play the shime part. And I was like, no, I don't want to do this. So you'll see. And I, this is the first time I learned in Japan. I really love this song. Uh, we would play it many times through uh, back in the day, even in the terrible, hot, humid Nagasaki weather. But uh, today we're just going to go through once, and that'll probably about kill me. So, <laughs> yes, you have a question? I don't live in Omaha. I live outside of Lincoln. So, um, Kat lives in Omaha, right? You two live Lincolnish, yeah. Yeah, so good question. You can live anywhere and play Taiko, really. Um, we are the only group in Nebraska, though, so good question. Yes? What's your favorite part about playing Taiko? My favorite part about playing Taiko? Um, it has kept me kind of in shape, because I don't, I don't like to really do stuff. I, I work on my, you know, I do my animals, and I work on my acreage, so that's like, but I don't like going much to the workout. And I've had three knee surgeries, so I don't really like to run anymore. Oh, and a foot surgery. <laughs> You fall apart when you get older. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm joking. You can stay in shape, right? Remember that hot us. Keep your core strong. But this, I love the physicality of it, but it's also music, and I love the people who play with us. I love that we can continue a Japanese culture here in the US. And actually, um, this summer, when I went back to Japan, I always meet up with my old taiko group. Um, and my leader, okay, he died. He died this year, so I have been so excited to see him. I always show him video of our group, and he always tells me, you're standing up too high when you get lower. <laughs> he tells me all these, um, and so he was, I hadn't seen him because I had been back since before COVID. But um, last time I was there, he said he was so proud that we carried on our group's tradition. So. <laughs> Um, this year when we went back and just talked to the members, they were so impressed with Anna's who had played. And that we have someone in America who can play like that, in Nebraska no less. Um, and my group in Japan actually, they were talking about selling all their drums off because um, everyone's gotten older, they haven't continued with the group. But somehow my old group, Itsumo Koba, is on here in Nebraska. So thank you for your support. Oh, this next song we're talking about. And this is our last song. <laughs> Great questions. I appreciate you all giving me a chance to catch my breath.